Hi there crafty friends, Chantel here. I wanted to come on and share with you a project that I completed. <clears throat> uh, this one is for a swap that I am in over at the Shabby Chic Crafters uh, Facebook page. And um, this uh, swap was to create uh, an altered composition book. And I actually went outside of my box with this swap, I am really um, a shabby, chic kind of girl, um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, this this is for Sherlyn, so Sherlyn, if you if you're watching this video and it is not yet um, game day uh, Saturday, we are going to um, meet each other for the first time over at um, the Scrapbook Expo that's happening this weekend, and um, so we decided to exchange our um, composition books then. So Sherlyn, if you are watching now and you want to be surprised, eh, well it's too late because you see the front, but you know. <laughs> um, so I wanted to kind of go a little bit vintage this time and I think I kind of achieved it. So something that I did with this composition book for the very first time I'm sorry, I wanted to grab it. I use this Scott's uh, spray adhesive to adhere the paper to the um, to the book. Normally I take um, my, my red line tape and I tape up the edges and put it down. I put tape all in it and all through it and everything. And I wanted to try this adhesive this time around. Um, just to see if I can get like a better, more, uh, more consistent hole like all around the edges. And you know what? I love it. It's like the best thing. Now if you can't stand like the fumes, you should definitely be in an open area when you use this. Um, but it works really quickly and it, did, it didn't take much at all. So I did use that to adhere the papers on the front and on the back. Um, I took a piece of lace here, a pink piece of lace, and I also spray adhesive, you put spray adhesive on that too to adhere that down. Um, I did first, however, jet sew it to kind of mute the pink color because it was much brighter than it is now. So I did use some jet sew to um, get that color muted down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I did that. And then I took some um, bling on a roll and I uh, hot glued that down there. I've got this dolly here. This image, this breakfast at Tiffany's image, I had received um, a gift, a rack, and a, uh, a challenge over on a Facebook page. And one of the items was a set of cards, breakfast at Tiffany cards. And... Um, I've just had them in my stash because I didn't really know what to do with them or how to use them and this was perfect for this project. So what I did was I cut, you know, the front half of the card because I only needed to use the front. And then I took some jet sew and kind of like sporadically went um, over the card to kind of age it a little bit. And then I even like did a little bit of uh, rips on the pages there. So it kind of, you know, aged it a little bit more, <clears throat> kind of scuffed it up with my um, X-Acto knife. And then um, I took some uh, tags from another paper stack, which is also by DCWV. Let me see. Nope, that stack is by Recollections. So I took some of those and fussy cut them out of the sheet. Um, I left a little bit of the white border around the edges of them just so that there could be some contrast between um, the paper on the book and the tag itself. And they actually the tags had these flourishes on them already so I didn't add that. That was already there which was uh, a really good thing. It was perfect. Um, so then I added some sentiments on there, live, laugh, create. Um, I also put some gadgets uh, down here in the bottom corner and some at the top there. And 
I flow I made the paper flow right on over to the inside and then here is a pocket where she can put papers you see that she can put some papers you can hold some papers in there and then on the inside I took I did that on the back sheet too so there's another pocket there on the back and on the inside I took some notes from uh, Tara who is nurse Tara 04 here on YouTube I'd watched a video of her she had uh, did a composition book for a friend and um, she made these pocket pages now normally what I do is I would just take a piece of designer paper and put it over the entire um, face of the card uh, but she did this cool technique and she did say that she did it wasn't her original idea I can link you to her video uh, showing this and then uh, I believe that in her description she has the original or the person who she watched do it for the inspiration but I created this like side pocket here and you see right down in there and I'm gonna add some like tags or something into those pockets for her and so I just took some more of that designer paper and covered the front and the back now let me give you a little tip about that so what I did smarty pants right here Here's the other sheet for this one. Now, maybe you already are aware of, you know, to do this, but I was either moving too quickly or just didn't think about it. But what I did was I measured the piece of paper, the cardstock that I needed to use, right? The designer paper. And I cut it in half on a diagonal. And then I put those two pieces together and I cut them, right? This is not two-sided paper. <laughs> So what I ended up with was two cuts going in the same direction, right? So I wasn't able to use this sheet on the back of this sheet. <laughs> so I just had to go and find, you know, another paper that coordinated pretty well, which I did. And I actually like it because it gives a little bit of a different look from one page to the other. And so I used the other one here and then a different sheet on the back of that one. And created these two little pockets inside of the uh, the composition book which I think are really cool and here is just a scrap piece of paper and what I did was I just made her a uh, a binder uh, a bookmark so I did that and here's some chain that I had I used the rest of this chain on the pin that I'm going to show you in a minute because it was a auto composition book and pin swap. Um, and the other thing that uh, I picked up from Tara, which I thought was really cool, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, is she just took some stamps and stamped in different areas, different sentiments. So I did that. A little bit on some of the pages I thought that was a pretty cool idea you get a little inspiration as you turn the pages there I did a bird cage and this bird cage will actually um, oh it's on the other page it'll make Sherlyn smile because uh, as it did make me smile when I thought of putting it on there because the first swap that she and I participated in together was an altered bird cage swap <laughs> So sweet so I um I thought that that would be a cute addition to the book and so just here and there there's another one here and there throughout the book I have stamped um, some sentiments just like as inspiration so there's the book and then we also had to do a pen and so what I did was I took one of these um, zebra pins this is the z grip it's got the push button i took a piece of that designer paper that's here on the front and i rolled it up and put it on the inside of the pin so that it you know coordinate with the uh paper i took a piece of seam binding and put that up there i just tied it and then i put a gadget kind of like the button area and then here is that uh, chain link that I was talking about with the tag, uh, with the uh, charms on it. And I just added the bird and the heart to the chain. 
and so that uh, yeah is on the pen and then she's got her pen and she can do 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 take her notes and I wanted it to um, stay with the book you know the pen I wanted it to stay with the book so I was trying to figure out how I could adhere it to the book because I had already put the papers in so it was uh, difficult to try to you know add something that would be underneath the paper so I said oh you know what I can do I can take a binder clip so that's what I did I took this binder clip I'm trying to make it bright enough for the Sun but not too bright where you can see the shadows from the window <laughs> so I took this binder clip and I adhered it to the um, front cover so that it is secure and then I just took um, the little clips off that you use to open and close it with I just took those off of them and then to adorn the edge just to cover that piece of the binder up the binder clip I took a piece of lace and tied it in a knot glue that on there and then I added a gadget to um, the top of that Oh, there's a little bit of sunlight. You can see it really pretty there. <laughs> and so now, when I take the pen, it slides right in. And her pen can stay with her book. Isn't that awesome? I love that idea. All right, so that was it, my altered composition book. I thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you again soon. Bye, have a good day.